and welcome back to the Zach and Buzz Review. Review. Okay, so what are we reviewing today? Well, as you may have noticed, we're back outside. Yes, we're yes, not, that's not true. In the studio today. Very windy today, actually. And uh, there's a little bit of a clue. Bit of a clue. Bit Ooh, of a clue. Okay. It goes along with another product you could say that we've already reviewed. Yes, that is very true. Now I do know what this item is. That's right, because because. It was a special gift I got for you for That's Christmas. Right. So technically, although I'm bringing this one in, you bought it for I me. I did. Okay. So does, has this given you a clue, ladies and gents? It's a banana. It's a banana. It's a ski. <laughs> Singular ski. Right. Let's open. Let's open, open it up. Let's open it up. Just to shed some light on what this weird, peculiar shape is. Bendy thing is. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, so nice. Somewhere in there. Should be a string. Yeah, let's get it out. More string. Is it like a propeller or something? What do you reckon? There it is. There we go. We found it. Uh -huh. took, took some finding, but we found it. One well, string. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put the string to one side for the moment. Yep. Just put that over there. So it comes in a nice protective cover. Yes. Which is cool. What is like it? That. It is, well, you purchased it. Mm -hmm. So do you want to say? It is a Hungarian recurve bow made by Longbow Maker, and it was purchased from Amazon for £109.99. Yes. 60 pound pull weight. Yes, so it's quite pokey, quite yeah. pokey. Uh, yeah, it's a re really nice bow. We're traditional longbow uh, archers, mm -hmm. and we have been for years, um, you know, over 40 years for me and all of your life, basically. Yes, basically. Um, and I know you've got a Hungarian uh, recurve. Yeah, and yeah. You like that for target shooting. And you really liked my Hungarian horse yeah, bow, yeah. I so mean, yeah. I love my English longbows, okay, but I just wanted something a little bit smaller. They're very tactile, aren't and, they? And, you know, it's got a bit of punch to it. Um, obviously in the UK, we do not do archery, actual archery bow hunting, that's illegal. Um, but as far as if you were in a country where you are allowed to hunt using bows, uh, yeah, this would be a Fairly, pretty top what, top. What are the rules regarding owning a bow in England? Um, well, anybody can own a bow in England, mm -hmm. that's, as far as I'm aware. The law doesn't stipulate, uh, you have, there's no license for it. Mm -hmm. uh, recommend you join a club maybe, um, because a lot of, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people who've purchased bows, haven't been to clubs, and their techniques may be a little bit odd. Yeah, um, and in fact, what you <laughs> on that front, you've actually brought up a, a, a point on the. I was looking at this on Amazon, okay, mm -hmm. and and that's what basically led to you to buy it for me. Yeah, and the thing is with this bow, is I was looking at the reviews, and I go to a lot of different uh, markets and uh, period markets where they sell handmade Hungarian recurve bows, and. I, act, I just like this particular one that I saw. Uh, and it's not like me to think about buying a bow that I haven't handled before. Um, but I was looking at the reviews and it had some really good reviews. However, talking about people that maybe don't know what they're doing when it comes to archery. Did you, did you read that one review on there? I, I think I did, yeah. One person, and if you do find this on Amazon, it's, it's probably both hilariously funny and a bit weird. Well, if I can find a screenshot, then yes, you I'll might pop, pop it up. Screen. Anyway, somebody purchased this recurve bow, and they gave it a, a really bad review because they said that uh, it arrived and the knocks for the bow line were on the wrong side. And obviously, <laughs> when they're taking it out, they're assuming they're going to be drawing <laughs> the bow like this, uh, and that's not how you string this bow. No. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> and I think they even referred to how they'd had to, the, the bowstring was too long and they'd had to sort of tie it and lash it around no, the end of the bow. No, so somebody no, out there, somebody no. out there has been trying to oh string dear. this the wrong way around. Oh dear. Yeah, so by all means get proper instructions if you've never done any archery before. Um, obviously there's uh, laws 
uh, pertaining to being safe, you know, public spaces or even even in your back garden because of course uh, you could overshoot. So you make sure you've got archery netting, etc., etc. Make sure that everything you do with archery is safe. Just be responsible. And if you're shooting on uh, on land, get the owner's permission. Okay, um, but in the UK, no hunting with bows. But I have known people to hunt abroad uh, in places like Bulgaria and things um, where they've used like around 48 pound pull strength bows. Oh wow, okay. And this is a 60, so perfectly good for, for hunting if you wanted it for that if you don't live in the UK. So let's string this bad boy. So I've attached the string on one of the knocks at the end. I'm going to put my leg through, get it round my ankle, get hold of the top of the bow, get the loop here, pull it round. Step through. Ta-da! There oh, we are. That looks awesome. Nicely strung now. And strung the correct way round. Never loose a bow without an arrow in and it. And definitely don't loose an arrow at me. No, not at you. <laughs> um, so here, yeah, it's got nice leather binding mm. over the uh, over the uh, Very intricate, bow. very intricate, all this kind of leather work on, on the limbs. Yeah, as you can see from the handle here, where you hold it, you've got a nice little the suede leather there. That's basically I have to turn it around so I'm right-handed. So that's where you'd rest your arrow when you're holding it. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, superb. Really cool because I think it's also ambidextrous as well. Oh yeah, left or right-handed doesn't matter. But uh, should we take it to the range? I think that is a marvelous idea. Let's go. So let's see how this bow performs. Starting off, let's knock an arrow. Now, make sure when you knock the arrow, you get your cock feather the right way around because this is not a Pixar movie, okay? We don't just slap it on there any old how. Also, when you draw the arrow, some people like to do three fingers under the arrow. Some people like a pinch. I'll do one finger above and two fingers below because that gives me control of the arrow. It means I can basically maneuver the arrow. I've got it, I know I can feel the arrow. And when you draw the arrow, make sure you bring it back, get it on your cheek, Everybody's got a different technique in their stance. I like to lean a little forwards on my stance. It's more of a hunting stance. When you draw, it is very important you draw from the ground up to the target. Don't do as I see people. They knock the arrow and then they have the bow in the air and draw it on the way down. If you do that, and you accidentally loose the arrow too soon, that arrow is going to be off into the wild blue yonder and you don't know where it's going or who or what it might hit. So always draw from the ground up before you loose. That way if you do loose early it's going into the ground and nowhere else. And wow. we're back. I, I am really impressed. It really is pokey. It's so pokey. Uh, Got to be a bit careful on the arm though. No. You don't want it, it to twang you. Yeah. That's why we need a good leather bracer. See, well, I use, a, I use a leather bracer, you know. I've got loads of different bracers. This is just what I've got today. Uh, modern archers, you get those lovely plastic ones with elastic, you know, that's yeah. fine. Um, but uh, yeah, you don't really want to be hit with that string. Obviously, Using a bow properly does come with a lot of practice to get does. good targeting and everything, but I think... Well, that's the joy yeah. of archery. Yeah. I mean, you can anybody can pick a bow up with a, you know, a, a few lessons in the basics. Mm. Um, you know, pick just it up. practice, practice, practice. Simple yeah. as that. Then they call it a guessing stick. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. that's for our compound archers over there that... Uh, <laughs> have their wonderful compound bows yeah. and uh, often turn to us with our long bows and say, what the hell's that? 
That's what do you mean it hasn't got laser pointing what do you mean targeting it's systems? It's not got balanced weights on the front of it, it hasn't, and a thumb trigger. It hasn't got a Bluetooth connection to a satellite. And it hasn't <laughs> got a multi-purpose stand with free Allen key to put it all together with. <laughs> <clears throat> no. Uh, Yes, guessing stick. So very much like our longbows, is a bit of a guessing stick. So £109.99. Do we think it's worth it? Personally, I'm really happy with it. Thank yes. you very much for my present. I think it is very, very much worth it. it we is. bought it from Amazon. We didn't get to see it in hand before we actually received the item. It's exactly what I've been after though. £60 pull yes. strength, hits the target. <laughs> I, I will say though, it was very difficult to wrap up for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't know you were getting it for me, but there you go. There you are. Um, Special treat. Hours and hours and hours of target practice fun. Yes. Well worth it. So give it a punt. Uh, by all means, when you're buying anything, look at the reviews. Mm -hmm. uh, hope this has helped you to make your decision. Um, and there we go. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you again in the next one. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment below any suggestions for further reviews you'd like to see. Bye for now.